What's going on guys, Bob Roach from RoachTechnology.com here with the unboxing for you of the EVGA GeForce GTX 690 graphics card. Now this graphics card is a beast and it will be part of my Mufasa build, whereas if you haven't seen you know, my videos in the past couple days, they've all been PC component unboxings, they're going to be part of a beast of a machine that I am calling Mufasa, and here we have the graphics card. So I'm not going to get you know too much into the box right now simply because it's basically a black box. I mean, there's a bunch of shipping labels and stuff on it, it's kind of taped up, and we did get this off of eBay. This isn't directly from Newegg. We ended up saving about like $150 off this card. I say we because this isn't my computer. I am indeed building this for a client. If you're interested in me uh, building a computer for you, there's a link down there in the description. Be sure to check that out. And well, if you want to see some of my work, I have on, um, live builds on my channel. Go ahead and check those out. But regardless, like I said, we, you know, being me and the client, got this off eBay. And like I said, we saved some money on it. And it seems to be a brand new card just in an open box. So that should save us some money. So good tips if you're building your own PC. But regardless, I have my Hackintosh juice knife. And I know you guys just want to see the card. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So rotating the box, taking the Hackintosh juice knife, doing some slicing. Coming down here, doing some dicing like that. No, not the vacuum, like Dyson, D-I-C-I-N apostrophe. Kind of like, you know, Ninja Turtle style. Uh, regardless, flipping this guy right back over. And I assume this whole thing should just come right off. All right, that card was pretty comfortable in that box. It really did not want to come out. But anyway, so that all aside, here is the top. You see GeForce GTX 690. And uh, let's see how this comes out of here. So uh, honestly, I'm not quite sure what that is. It kind of looks like a, a big mouse pad or something. Uh, limited edition down here, always nice. But um, I think that might just be a ginormous mouse pad. I don't think it's like a poster or anything. But regardless, putting that off to the side. Here we have some EVGA stickers. Enthusiast build. Uh, there you go. If you want to put those you know, on your case or on your bedroom door, then well, go ahead and do that. Here, looks like we have a poster. Check out them apples. That's a big poster too, that's nice. So here we have the poster. Arm yourself with EVGA. So pretty neat poster, pretty big poster too. By the way, a uh, big old QR code there. So uh, I doubt you'll be able to scan that. You can try um, if you stop on that frame back there, but I'm not really too worried about it. All right, so poster aside. GeForce GTX 690, I assume this is just, you know, some kind of manual how to install it. As you see right here, it does require uh, two power draws because this is a beefy card. This card has two GPUs on it. So it's basically like having two graphics cards, but in one. So there we go. By the way, this card does have uh, four gigabytes of video memory. So it's basically like two GPUs in one with two gigs each. So this is definitely gonna be a beast of a graphics card. And here we go, user guide. I'm sure we're all very interested in that. So moving that aside, moving the foam aside. All right, there's the card itself, but we also do have some uh, peripherals in the box. Go ahead and try to move some of this stuff out of here. But we'll get into the peripherals first. So we do have some pretty nice power cables here, as you can see. Uh, they have like some kind of a, a custom, I guess, wiring on them, like a little outer shell. Looks kind of like a like a nice nylon material maybe, so that's pretty neat. And here we have a DVI to uh, HDMI adapter. Always good to have some of those laying around. And here we have a VGA to DVI, which I doubt you're gonna need a VGA uh, you know, adapter if you're using this card. I don't really think too many people, especially like, you know, enthusiast builds use VGA monitors, but I guess some people do. And so that's all for, oh, no, we got one more guy hiding back here. And that's just another one of those power cables. So very nice there. And the card itself. Wow, this card has some weight to it. And I can feel that it's cold. So this is all metal. So we'll go ahead and we'll uh, set that on the foam, move the box. And here's the card. So taking it out of the anti-static uh, wrapper. And here we go. So here's the card, it's a definite monster. Like I said, this is a cold, you know, it's really cold here, so this is all metal up top. We have a single fan on there, which I'm sure spins at a pretty, or at least a fairly high RPM, because I'm sure this, this card is gonna put off tons of heat. But as you see right there, GeForce GTX, 
There's your two power draws right there. Very nice card, very heavy card. I assume most of it comes from, you know, the metal um, encasing here. But as you see a uh, heat grill right there. Moving over to this side. You know, just you know, the standard connector there. Moving to the back, go ahead and see our connection options here. Down here we have a DVI, which is actually upside down, but it does say DVI-D. You have more, two more DVIs as well as a mini display port. So lots of connection options here. Um, I, I assume you can probably use all these at once uh, just because it is pretty much two GPUs in one. I'm not sure about OS X or Windows configurations, but I'm sure those are all out there. And as, as you can see over here, if you really have a lot of money, you can get another one of these and hook this bad boy into an SLI configuration. It'd basically be like a quad SLI with two of these. So that'd be pretty nifty, I have to say. <laughs> that'd be a ridiculous eight gigabytes of video memory there. But um, like I said, this card, 400 or 4,096 uh, megabytes of video memory to be exact. GeForce GTX, just one more look around the card here. And there you guys go. So like, like I said, we did get this card off eBay, but it really has never been used. I mean, there's no dust or anything. They even still have those protective stickers on it. So really nice buy from eBay. If you're looking to save some money, uh, d depending on the seller, I'd be kind of careful there, but uh, you can definitely get great deals off of eBay. So that's pretty much all I have for the unboxing of the EVGA GTX 690. Go ahead and give you one more look at the branding there. I'm at CPU Kid on Twitter. Also, be sure to check out roachtechnology.com and at roachtechnology on Twitter, and I'll see you guys in my next video.